back panel complete and the top curve panel complete, all that I need to do is build the two side jams. I used a short test piece of wood to check and see what angle I'd need to cut my styles to get a good joint where the straight sides met the curved top. Once I had the right angle at the top, I used a clamp to hold an extra long style piece in place, then used a square to mark the cut line that would give me exactly the length I wanted for the side frame. Next, I moved up and marked the location for the intermediate rail of the panel. Once I had the layout on one of my styles, I put the two styles together and transferred the marks across both styles. The side frame assembles just like any standard frame, except it's got an angled top piece. Once I had the frame put together, I put some glue on the back and stapled more plywood onto the back of the frame. I repeated the same process to make the side panel for the other side. Since all these cuts are standard square cuts, putting the panel molding inside the frames is pretty straightforward. When I had both of the side frames completed, I started installing them to the scribe line using clamps to pull the joint together tightly. Once I attached the side panel to the back, I used a framing square to make sure that I had a square joint where the side panel met the curved head panel. Carefully watching the line that I'd marked, I used screws to screw through the curved top panel into the side panels. With all the pieces put together, the last thing that I wanted to do was put a temporary spreader strip on the bottom so that I wouldn't damage my panel niche while I was moving it. While I still had the panel niche in the shop, I wanted to cut and test fit the joints in the casing trim. To help support the casing trim in place while I fit the joints, I added some temporary little plywood outriggers, which were just pocket screwed into the side jam pieces. I planned to use dominoes in my joints when I actually assembled the trim on the job site, so I went ahead and made those the cuts for the dominoes while I had the trim in the shop. 